Tom Scarborough. Master, we are going nuptial crazy because I am going to marry Wakefield. This is why the angels, bless him, and probably most of the women in this country are crying. I can't, I can't really explain it. It's like you get to a certain age, you feel you should settle down, find the right girl, and I reckon Wiggers, the Europop disco queen, is the lady for me. I want her by my side, singing Saturday night dance, I like the way you move, Pretty baby until the end of time. And it just so happens she is the special guest on tonight's show. So I'm going to pop the question live tonight. If that wasn't exciting enough, Virtua Fighters 2 is out on the Saturn next month. We're going to have a little thing on the console version later on. But first we'll focus on its arcade counterparts in an event we like to call Virtually Perfect. I've always been a stickler for perfection. And for today's event, I've turned my attention to that classic of arcade beat-em-ups, Virtua Fighter 2. Three contestants must take it in turns to defeat as many computer-controlled opponents as they can, with the contestant who gets furthest in the game taking the joystick. Easy enough, you might think, but there's a catch. In order to stay in the running, Every player must finish their bout without taking a single hit. The energy bars at the top of the screen show the strength of the players. It's only by emerging from each bout with their bar intact that a contestant can move on to the next harder opponent. Remember, one hit and you're out. <laughs> As you can see, this challenge is tougher than a 10-week-old steak wearing a metal body warmer. Here to attempt this Herculean task, please welcome Hatim Habashi, Gordon O'Shea and Joel Phillips. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Hatim. All right, Gordon. All right. Nice to see you, Joel. Okay, right, Hatim, you actually won uh, the Sega Virtual Fighting Championship in 1995, didn't you? Yeah. So are you, are you the favourite, do you reckon? Probably, yes, yeah, but, yeah. And Gordon, you don't reckon you're very good at the challenge? No, no, I'm not good at all. I'm just to make the numbers up. Okay, and Joel, can you, can you beat Hattie? Yeah, well, I've beat him a couple of times, but he probably might just come and tell me, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, while we get our contestants' bottoms firmly on seats, we'll take a look at today's news. Mr. and Mrs. Let's Cash In on Mortal Kombat are continuing to have children. The latest offspring is Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, an upgrade chip for the arcade machine released simultaneously with the home versions of the game in an effort to keep arcade punters spending. The upgrade features eight new characters, a two-player tag match, and even an eight-player tournament mode, which rewards the victor with, amongst other things, a stunning replay of every single death move in the game. Unfortunately, it still won't help you get a girlfriend. Top work, Bunny. Keanu Reeves' latest attempt at looking lovely is Johnny mm, Mnemonic, an everyday tale of bloke loading top-secret computer files into his brain. Hit me. After that, of course, the world and his wife are out to kill him and put old Keanu's chase all over the real and virtual world. It won't win any Oscars for the plot, but it does feature special effects wearing T-shirts saying, We're impressive. What are you doing? Making a long-distance phone call. Beijing Hotel. Beijing selected. Access denied. Access granted. Hotel Beijing selected. 
it's released after Christmas. If you thought your computer was one place you'd never say, hey, I bet you don't get many of those to the pound, think again. This is Sainsbury's idea of getting in the weekly groceries in the not-too-distant future. A virtual supermarket you enter via your computer. Apart from smelly old women paying for everything very slowly with one-pence pieces, it's just like a real supermarket. The cost of the goods is debited from your credit card and dispatched to your home for kids to steal. We're totally festive. Our Christmas special in two weeks' time is a celebration of five years of this fantastic series, and next week's show features a colossal Christmas competition. We'll be giving away five PlayStations and five Saturns, each with the three biggest games on that system. So, if you're poor and can't afford a next-generation console this Christmas, I urge you to stop crying. Pull yourself together and tune into next week's show, when you just might annoy all your rich mates by winning one instead. Hatim, Gordon and Joel are about to take part in the sublimely fluid Virtual Fighters 2. Derek Lynch from Funland is going to help me out in this one. Derek, first of all, what do you reckon my chances are with Wigfield? With Wigfield, well, Dominic, a fantastic looking man like yourself should not have a problem. You're a very kind and beautiful man, Derek. <laughs> Thank you. Now, all our contestants have chosen to play with Akira on this. What's his strength? His strengths are his counter-attacks, that stopping the attack midway through and mm -hmm. attacking you, um, three-hit combo, and also his dashing moves and also his ability to drive through your defence. OK, we'll look forward to seeing all of that. Just to reiterate, all three of our contestants are going to try and get through without suffering one hit. If they get hit even once, they are out of the challenge. Hatim is going to go first. Best of luck, Hatim. Let's have the first fight. So Hatim will be playing against Lau. Hatim's in the blue. That's a key the top left-hand corner of the screen. That's his energy bar. If that goes red at all, he is out of it. Derek. OK. Oh, switch and a back check. Punch on the ground. Defensive jump kick back, switch, back, oh, oh that's it, a KO already, fantastic <laughs> final move there as you can Very see in the replay, nice. Lau's energy completely gone, he bites the dust, a team safely through, on to Gordon. Gordon, jumping back, defensive, double dashing elbow, waits, oh jabs, jabs, jabs to the body, elbow, he's doing well, oh, he's keeping it up, oh yeah, doing dashing great. elbow, finish off, finish off, go on Gordon, Good dashing elbow, oh, yes. Once more, keep an eye on the energy bar, top left hand corner of the screen. That's the one you don't want to go red at all. Over at you, Derek. Okay, switch and oh, double arm oh. right out of the ring. Fantastic. <laughs> that was a ring out, Derek. What does that mean? As exactly. soon as you come out of the ring, you push out the ring, you lose automatically. Okay, that was a very economical way of doing it. Now we're at fight number two. We're back with the team. He's playing against Sarah this time. Over at you, Derek. Defensive jump. Oh, double hit combo. Sarah on the right, controlled by the computer. Derek. Dashing elbow there. Sarah's right down. Oh, oh no, that's combo. What is it for that good severe kick in? That's scored an of it, one of our few ginger challengers. Maybe that is why we don't have so many. Oh, and now we're on to Joel then for his second fight. Oh, Off goes Joel. Oh, straight in, side kick and back check. Oh, switch. Double kick. Mr. the blow punch. Double punch to the stomach to finish it off there. Both Joel and Hatim then through to fight number three. So Akira is now playing against the old coach Sean Derek. He's the drunken master. Look, laying down the ground there. Oh. Palm strikes. The... Oh, three hit combo. Oh, fantastic there. That's a team hit. Around four. Can Joel match him? Also, Joel in against the old coach. Defensive jump kick. And double punch and out of Joe's the done it again once more. Out of the ring, both of them are under round four without taking a single hit. <laughs> so now it's back with Hatim playing against Pai, the Pai. boys in the pink. She, she practiced white train kung fu. Very light on the feet, but very fast. Oh, double palm. Punch on the ground. Sides up again. Switch. The back check. He's nearly done it again. Oh, oh switch. Back check. Yes, another knockout there. Yes. 
taken a single point. Round five then, Hatima Zakira up against Lyon. Lyon, yes, a Mantis fighter, very tricky. against Lion. What's tough about Lion then? Lion is a very tricky knee. Attacks very low. Playing Mantis. Oh, oh but Joel's out. done it! Joel has done it! He's got a ring out with Lion. Joel has done enough to beat today's winner. <laughs> right, guys. Fantastic challenge. We'll start with you, Gordon. You were the first one to leave. What, yeah. what happened? I became a pacifist just before I started playing. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't attack anymore. <laughs> I had to finish it. That's a very valid reason, but at least you have made an effort to try and dress very similar to me, albeit more so, cheaply. No, I think actually you dress like me because you see me coming here for rehearsals and now you've copied my style, you see. Right. Yeah. But you know, you need to shave and everything, you know. Uh -huh. just, yeah. And get a shocking bunch of ginger hair. Mm, or, you know, you could like, you know, stick with the Milky Bar Kid look, you know, it's good, it suits you. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly suits me better than your outfit does, Gordon. Right, moving on to Hatim. It was getting very close. I didn't think it was ever going to end, but Lion did the business on you in the end. Yeah, it's a matter of high and low. Well, he just attacked low, and it's just difficult to tell where he's going to attack. But I, I tried my best anyway, and uh, he deserved to win, so, you know. Oh, that's a bit... Well, these things happen. Yeah. Uh, right, Joel, finally you. Did you ever at any point think you wouldn't beat Hatim? You wouldn't get further? Um, yeah, at one point I did. I thought he might have clinched it just before, but... Lion, as you said, Lion got the better of him, so... What I did, I tried to stay away from them at the start, and then go in and do my stuff, get it, but finish another round, no fancy stuff. It was fantastic yeah. tactics and indeed winning tactics because the traffic victor of the Games Master Virtual Fighter 2 tournament is Joel! <laughs> action there and we still have a potential wedding to come later on in the show if we don't go to the reviews at this precise moment i shall burst a vital organ with excitement first up rick and dave strip to the waist to get oiled up and wrestle the way god intended with virtual fighter 2 on the saturn it runs fantastically fast, it has three times the moves of the original game which was impressive enough and with two new characters Shundi and Lion Raphael it is set to blast the Saturn into a new hemisphere. This has extra secret hidden modes, for instance you can play the game as 2.1 arcade version which means you can play as Jarrell. Also there's a team battle mode where you can take five of the characters and battle against five of the characters on another team. It's extremely fast, it's detailed and it will take months to master. It is definitely the beat-em-up on the home console at the moment, and if you own a Saturn, you're going to have to buy this. With 46 levels and over 73 bonus areas, will Donkey Kong Country 2 provide yet another license for Jimmy Nintendo to print money? Well, it seems like we've waited a long, long time to say this again, but the prime primate is back. Or rather, his family is, because Donkey Kong has been kidnapped. Enter Dixie Kong, Diddy Kong's little blonde girlfriend. With a ponytail, it's very, very useful indeed. Yes, the bosses have a lot better artificial intelligence, which means their attack patterns are a lot more demanding. I have poor little simian chums. And there are sub-games in this version. Remember the minecart in the original? Well, you've got a roller coaster section, which instead of just hurting it along railway tracks that are rather precipitous, you also have to race against other minecarts. It's fantastic. Skipping the moral argument over whether we should arm kids in this country, Namco asks you to shoot everything in their new arcade game, Time Crisis. It seems that if Sega do it, Namco will do it as well, although they'll do it a little bit better. Time Crisis is Namco's answer to Virtua Cop, and although it features the same blast in action, it has a recoil gun which will move as you shoot 
which certainly gives you a little bit of arm make, and it has a pedal on the unit. When you press it, you'll pop up from behind a box or maybe around a wall, and you can shoot the enemy. When you release the pedal, you'll pop back round the wall and they can't hit you. Yes, the action in Time Crisis is even faster than in Virtua Cop, and the sections are held together by nicely rendered cinematic sequences which help to progress a storyline. This is top notch, and it is the new holder of the arcade shooting crown, in my opinion. spied Wigfield from afar. She is so nearly here while I go and put on a different pant. We'll go over to Games Master to find out what challenge she'll be playing. You know, you just can't beat a good old platform romp. And Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo is just that. Perched on the back of a bizarre green dinosaur, my contestants will be out to prove their platform prowess by collecting 32 coins from two different levels in two minutes. Not surprisingly, a host of pitfalls pepper their path, and they need to use skill and judgment if they want to get their hands on my joystick. So it's an understandably nervous yet exciting time for me, as with sweaty palms I welcome the undisputed first lady of Europop, Wakefield. <laughs> chance to play video games in your hectic schedule? Um, I do that when I sit in airplanes. Uh-huh. Yeah, I play Game Boy. Uh-huh. And what's your, what's your favourite? I love you, Wakefield. I'm sorry. I love you too. <laughs> this is a fantastic start. No, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I've been, like, fighting against it since the start of the show. Yeah. And, uh, I think you're fantastic. Thanks. You're a very attractive girl. You're a rock legend. And you've obviously got pots <laughs> of cash after Saturday night. Let's face it. I'm so, a girl to marry. Well, funny you should say that, because... Can I have your hand, please? <laughs> will, you, will you marry me, Wakefield? No, I can't. Oh, well, listen, I don't want to rush you, right? I like to, you know, I get shy. I'll give you a bit of time to think okay. about it, okay? okay. I'll call you so tomorrow. Like, by, no, by the end of the show, I'm afraid. We can get it all set up, right? Well, we can you help. have to help me to, to win the game, then. If you do the challenge, then, you will marry me? Yeah. Uh, okay, right, before I completely lose the plot entirely, we're going to work out exactly what we're going to do about this, uh, Possibly fantastic, but uh, probably quite embarrassing situation. So we'll take a short break. Welcome back. I may well only have 12 and a half minutes of single blokeness left because if Wigfield completes this challenge, she will be my bride because I love her with a love that's beautiful. And helping me out in my hour of need is my good friend Kirk Ewan. Kirk, how did I do there? Well, considering you are an ugly, Scottish, bold bloke with glasses, I think you did pretty well. That's very kind of you. Right, any tips? Uh, well, I would learn to cook if I was you, because it uh, looks like your wife's going to be the main earner. <laughs> <laughs> but about the game itself? All right, well, Yoshi's Island is a precision game. You've got to try and be as precise as, well, as precise as you can be on the back of a two-legged dinosaur. Mm -hmm. uh, the best thing Wakefield can do is take her time, make sure she gets the coins, because if she ends up in the fires, it's right back to the beginning. Okay, well, uh, Wigfield has two minutes to collect 32 coins. This will involve going through two levels, making it very tough, but there's a rather large prize at stake here. So, best of luck, Wiggers. Your time starts now. So, off goes uh, little Yoshi, just up the steps. There's a the first two coins safely over the tumbling block there. Now, this is the fires you were talking about, Carl. Yeah, this is a slightly tricky bit. What she's got to do here is keep these platforms revolving, try and move around until she gets these other two coins down here. She missed the other one. That's it, that's six coins now. 32 coins she's got to get, so that means there's 26 left to get. And there's a whole load of them up here, Cup. Yeah, there's another uh, 10 or 20 up here, I can't quite remember, but uh, this is the, the bit where she can really pick up a lot of them. She just needs to get back on the platform there. And get those other two, which yep. will take her up to... And then up the stairs. That's 20. Okay, that's 20 coins. Thank you very much, Cup. So that's me for safety to the first level with 20 coins. Only 12 more to get as we go on to the next level. Take it away. 
So, so far, I'm doing all right, actually. You're going to be going for like about 45 seconds now. It's looking very good for you. I'm quite impressed. What she's got to do here is this ball, the direction that the arrow is pointing in will be the direction that Yoshi and Baby Mario are traveling. So she's heading up here at the moment. She's soaring like the European song. So about two coins there. 22, 24, 26. This is looking good, Kirk. I'm getting a bit nervous here. 28. Order the confetti, good on it. Uh, one minute, five seconds gone. 30. Two more to get. That's 32. One minute, nine seconds. Do you have to go through the exit? We gave you two minutes there, Wigfield, and you did it in one minute 15. That, to me, spells out very eager woman to marry me. I didn't want to be a single woman, and, and I like the coins. <laughs> uh -huh, you like the coins? Well, you can have a lot more than for me. I am fantastically wealthy. That sounds nice. Do you know what I mean? I'll treat you right. I promise. This is great. She can't wait. This is fantastic. <laughs> uh, I will, we'll do lots of nice things. I'll read your stories at night, and it'll be good. Mm. So I have to ask you once more, I mean, will, will you actually, will you marry me? I thought you had to get down even these to okay. do this. <laughs> demanding, demanding. Already? We're not even married yet. Uh, would you mind? I will. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Well, we've obviously got a lot of preparations to do. Before we do that, we have a special prenuptial Games Master Gordon Joystick to go to Wakefield. <laughs> show left obviously we've got to get a vicar we've got to get confetti and all that stuff while we try and round all that up together we'll take a look at today's feature Andy, have you not enough again no i was just sleeping in forthcoming pc game heart of darkness was just one of the winners at last week's london computer animation awards the awards showcased nappy wetting state-of-the-art computer generated oh, graphics oh, and there was oh about 17 million new films adverts and cartoons there Mostly sports follows the adventures of two disgustingly cute insects. This is probably the best of the computer-generated cartoons, even if it did feature a locust who was about as scary as Scylla Black doing a TV special on newborn lambs. What are you up to, my little lunch? The latest motion theatre ride experience, Time Gate to Egypt, gives you your own guided tour of Tutankhamun's bachelor pad pyramid. After navigating the traps installed to catch would-be crypt robbers, the ride climaxes in the inner sanctum of King Tut's burial chamber. And, has to be said, looks pretty rubbish for the experience. Possibly the first computer-generated character to make grown men cry appeared in the movie Kappa. This post-war Japanese effort tells the story of a lonely boy who befriends a family of aliens. Perversely, the youngest of which was modelled on something that came out of my nose an hour or two ago. Kappa has 50 minutes of animation, leaving you reaching for the Kleenex. However, the most impressive graphics were to be found in a bizarre surrealistic Edge entry called characters. The End. The ending of your animation is about you. Me? So I can suddenly change form at any time. These are some of the most convincing virtual characters ever seen, and are generated by using special software which for the first time produces realistic hair, something I could do with myself. The film made no sense whatsoever, but the same technology will be used to make the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park 2 that bit more realistic, which is just as well, because the original Velociraptors didn't scare me nout. Do you, Europop Queen Wigfield, take this man to be your lawful wedded bloke? I do. And do you, Dominic, bald, unattractive, but quite funny diamond, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. One thing, viewers. Although I'm marrying Wigfield, it doesn't mean I'm divorcing you. Bye-bye.